And now, your Storm Shield forecast with NBC26 Chief Meteorologist Cameron Moreland. The weather was not created equally across the state of Wisconsin this afternoon. The high temperature in Ephraim, 36. In Boscobel, in southwestern Wisconsin, the high temperature was 74 degrees. That warm weather is not headed our way anytime soon, however. Here's a look at the next seven days. Our normal high climbs up to 58 tomorrow. And for the most part, we are going to be at or below that for the next week or so. High temperatures the next couple of days will be in the 40s to around 50 degrees. Right now, we're looking at a mixture of 30s and 40s. It is 33. Three degrees in Ephraim, that's the cold spot. Meanwhile, it's 47 in Watoma. We have 46 degrees in Fond du Lac. In the valley, it is mainly cloudy and 39. It's another windy evening. Easterly winds at around 15 to 25 miles per hour. In Green Bay, the temperature is 39 degrees with easterly winds once again right around 15 to 25 miles per hour. And of course, that's adding the wind chill factor into the equation. It feels like 28 in Sturgeon Bay right now in Oconto. It feels like 29 degrees. Meanwhile, it feels like the 70s in southwestern Wisconsin. All right, we kicked off Wednesday with some patchy light snow and flurries. For the most part, any accumulations were non-existent or minor. The best chance for seeing accumulations this morning, mainly north of Green Bay. Since then, we've had a few on and off rain showers, maybe a wet snowflake or a little sleet mixing in from time to time, especially north and east of Green Bay. Besides that, We've been looking at mostly cloudy skies. You can see some thunderstorms off to our south and west. That's in response to a weak system that is sliding south and east between Wisconsin, Minnesota, and Iowa this evening along a frontal boundary that is obviously separating some cool weather from some very warm weather. We have early spring conditions north and east of that frontal boundary and late spring conditions south and west. But that frontal boundary is going to be pretty much locked in place here as we head through the next couple of days, and that means we're going to be on the cool side of things. Tomorrow, look for high temperatures only in the lower to mid-40s. We'll have cloudy skies. A few on and off rain showers are possible. Once again, a few wet snowflakes or a little sleet could mix in, especially north of Green Bay. And then on Friday, we'll see a mixture of clouds and sunshine with more clouds in the afternoon and evening and maybe a couple of showers by the time we get to Friday evening. That'll continue into Saturday morning with a little more sunshine on Friday. Temperatures will warm up into the upper 40s to around 50 degrees. So tonight, mostly cloudy skies. We'll have the chance for a few showers, mainly rain showers, but a wet snowflake or a sleet pellet cannot be ruled out. Overnight lows will be in the mid-30s. Tomorrow, cloudy and breezy. A few showers are likely. Highs will be in the lower to mid-40s. My three-degree guarantee for tomorrow is 44. If I can hit that high within three degrees, we will donate $100 to Compassionate Home Health Care, and we did that today. I forecast 42. The actual high temperature was 44 degrees. On Friday, clouds mixing with some sunshine, maybe a shower, especially late. Highs in the upper 40s. We could have a few rain showers, maybe a wet snowflake, especially early Saturday, then mostly cloudy skies, upper 40s. Clouds mixing with some sunshine on Sunday. Temperatures will start to warm up back up into the mid 50s. Increasing clouds on Monday, and then another big system rolls our way for Tuesday and Wednesday. Ahead of it, a good chance for showers and thunderstorms on Tuesday, and then rain, maybe a couple of wet snowflakes on the backside, especially north of Green Bay with gusty winds on Wednesday. Nina, it's, it's tough to take when you see 74 degrees in Boscobel this afternoon. I mean, you could have hopped in the car and just drove for a couple of hours and enjoyed that type of warmth. I'm having a real hard time with that. Deep breaths, not going to get mad. Moving on. Can't believe that. Thank you, Cameron. Coming up, we're looking into how airlines are handling the sudden drop in passengers and what it takes to get a refund.